Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a really different video for me. I'm usually a guy who makes pretty, you know, strange out there reviews or does strange videos, but I'm going to take a time, take a few couple, a minute or two to talk about uh, a recently deceased YouTuber that I found very influential, influential enough to start my own YouTube account. Um, just so I could subscribe to him and watch him and that is obviously as you can see in the title Mr. Geriatric1927 aka Peter Oakley now I, I, I never talked to him on YouTube or really even clicked the like button on one of his videos I might go back and do some of that but uh, I, I was one of those thousands of silent observers who, uh, who just watched his videos a lot back in the early days of YouTube 2006 and uh, yeah I mean I always admired how he uh, just he just talked about his life he just talked you know someone my grand my grandmother's age um, using the technology of you know today's youth and uh, basically beating them all at it becoming the top subscriber most subscribed user at a period in time um, and he was always you know he, he was kind of quirky and funny at times so I only recently started watching his videos again um, and I was you know shocked to find out that he had terminal cancer and he was not expected to live and I don't know it just seems that if, when you're behind these cameras here um, when you're watching them people like you and me that you know you think they're invincible and uh, you know hey they'll put a video up every couple of days everything will go fine but uh, obviously that's not the case uh, I don't know it's just sort of like I miss the YouTube of 2006 2007 sometimes and you know seeing one of its main pillars just gone and knowing that he will no longer be making any videos um, just I don't know it just makes me feel like an era has ended and any chance of it coming back well, is just gone um, I know I'm not sort of like the type of guy who looks like he would uh, watch someone like Mr. Oakley but uh, I don't know I just felt like I felt like he was sort of like just sort of like I said like like he's known as the internet granddad. I felt like he was sitting here, he was talking to me, telling me his stories, and you know, I feel like also that, you know, I don't know. Um, I also feel like it's like a piece of history, a piece of internet history, you know. We get this man's point of view, you know, it's preserved forever, as long as YouTube stays up, cross fingers. Um, you know, he, who would he tell that to if it wasn't for YouTube? Um, anyways, I'm rambling too much. Um, rest in peace, Geriatric1927. Um, there will never be another one like you. And sorry I stopped watching your videos for a while, around 2010, 2011.